Hello everyone, how are you? Welcome to another lecture for MRC section and this is the question and answer solve session. Here this is the question, a 34 years old man undergoes excision of the sarcoma from the right buttock. During the procedure, the sciatic nerve is sacrificed. Which of the following will not occur as a result of this process? So here First of all, we have to find out the key points from the question. A 34 years old man undergoes excision of the sarcoma and it was located at the right buttock. And during this operation, the sciatic nerve is sacrificed. So, which will not occur at this procedure. So, though sciatic nerve is sacrificed, we have to find out which action will be preserved. So, which is not a function of the sciatic nerve. Here the options, options are loss of extension of the knee joint, foot drop, inability to extend the extensor hollosis longus, impaired function of gastrocnemius and loss of sensation on the posterior aspect of the lower leg. So first of all, let's see the sciatic nerve. So here we can see this is the sciatic nerve from here up to the here and here we can see this is the sciatic nerve it here and sarcoma as located in the in this area hip area so during the sarcoma excision this sciatic nerve is sacrificed that means divided and lost so first of all let's see this sciatic nerve this sciatic nerve it arises from the lumbosacral trunk then it passes anterior to the piriformis muscle this muscle is the Pyriformis. So this is the pyriformis. So pyri just anterior to the pyriformis and inferior to the pyriformis. It enters into the posterior aspect of the thigh. Then we can see it passes behind uh, anterior to the long head of the biceps femoris. And this is the popliteal fossa. So at the upper end of the popliteal fossa, this sciatic nerve is divided into two nerve. One is the tibial nerve, another one is the common peroneal nerve. So sciatic nerve, uh, tibial nerve and common peroneal, peroneal nerve, they are nothing but the sciatic nerve. The just sciatic nerve divided into two parts. One is the tibial nerve, another one is the common peroneal nerve. And in the first picture, we can see this is the popliteal fossa here. The diamond shape is space. This is the popliteal fossa and upper end of the popliteal fossa is divided into the tibial nerve and common peroneal nerve. We can see the tibial nerve it passes downwards to the posterior aspect of the leg and then it goes to the the medial side and finally reaches the sole of the foot. On the other hand, we can see this common peroneal nerve. This common peroneal nerve it enters into the anterior and lateral aspect of the leg so in this picture we can see the different nerve here and here we can see this is the common peroneal nerve here this is the common peroneal nerve this common peroneal nerve actually this and it goes anteriorly to the leg and it supplies this area up to this area and we can see there is the superficial peroneal nerve that means the common peroneal nerve divided into two part one is the superficial another one is deep here we can see the past wave space it is supplied by the deep peroneal nerve or deep fibular nerve but in the larger part it is supplied by the superficial peroneal nerve and we also can see there is the saphenous nerve it located at this area that means the medial aspect of the leg it is supplied by the saphenous nerve and this saphenous nerve is a branch of femoral nerve and here we can see some other structures uh, such as the obturator nerve it supplies the medial aspect or adductor aspect of the thigh and femoral nerve it supplies the front of the thigh and lateral femoral cutaneous nerve it supplies the lateral aspect of the thigh then in this picture we can see this type of nerve this is the posterior view and in the posterior view we can see the tibial nerve it supplies in the posterior part of the leg and here we can see the tibial nerve also it supplies in 
this area this area this area and through learner it supplies only this area so here our answer is ready the loss of extension of the knee joint it does not occur because throughout the length we saw that the uh, sciatic nerve it located in the posterior aspect but loss of extension occurs in the anterior aspect of the knee joint so it is not supplied by the sciatic nerve other options such as foot drop it may be occur inability to extend to the hallucis longus in the lower actually the leg almost all of the muscles is supplied by the branch of the sciatic nerve because all muscles of the lower leg and foot is supplied by the sciatic nerve so the extension hallucis longus it will also be affected then the gastrocnemius this is the posterior group of muscle of the leg so it also be affected and loss of sensation on the posterior aspect of the lower leg it also true so all the posterior part is covered by sciatic nerve and branch of the sciatic nerve so loss of extension will not occur due to sacrifice of the sciatic nerve thank you all